Morning guys. A little early on a Monday morning to do a second video, but uh, this one bears discussing here real quick. Uh, you all know what I've been saying about the market for all year and kind of what I, last week, last two weeks for the market have not been good. Okay. I mean, we're down for the month. I've kind of talked to you about this. I told you September, October are historically crappy months for the market. Uh, this morning ain't looking hot. All right. Right now, futures on the Dow are saying we're going to drop 600 points in the open. Uh, the S&P, the futures are down 73. Okay. Now that's down just under 2%. But again, you look at what we did on Friday, we dropped 1%, you know, so it's like this. The scary part, and this is what I want to talk about, is the VIX. And whether you guys know what this is or not, this is the volatility index. This is what tracks how Wall Street basically is worried about what's going on. Right now, today, not for the month, not for the year, anything like that. Today, right now, the VIX is up 24% from Friday's close. That tells you a lot about what traders are thinking, okay? This is the highest we've seen on a daily point for the VIX since May and the highest point on a uh, monthly point that we've hit since February. Now, the VIX is right now right around 26. That's nothing like we were last March of 2020 where we got up in the 60s uh, when the market just completely crashed. But the VIX is steadily going up and the markets, the Dow, the S&P, the NASDAQ, are, are specifically going down, okay? Uh, I know you guys are all going to have a ton of questions. What do I do? What do I do? What do I do? And I've said before, it was before now to make the decision, okay? If I put my broker hat on, I'm going to use the, the comment, don't try to catch a falling knife. I know people will go, hey, this is a good time to buy, sure, and when the market goes down tomorrow, if it does, I'm not saying it will. When the market goes down tomorrow, you're going, crap, I lost money. Okay, don't try to catch a falling knife. But is it too late to sell? Not in my opinion. Okay, now, again, this is my opinion. I'm not giving anybody financial advice. But, you know, this, this is the, the interesting part. Uh, strategist at Morgan Stanley came out and said they expect a 10% correction in the S&P 500. Uh, and as the Fed starts to unwind stuff, they could see that the stalling economy, i.e. because there aren't stimulus checks boosting it, could deepen it to 20%. Now, that brings the market down to 26, 27,000 on the Dow. That's still not where I think it is, okay? I'm still, and again, you've got to remember Brokerage firms, investment banks, they're in this to make money. They don't want to panic the people. If they're saying 10 to 20, I'm betting I'm right when I say 30 to 40. Okay. Again, this is my opinion and I'm not giving anybody financial advice. But I want you guys to be aware of this. Come Wednesday, uh, we have the Fed's policy meeting. Okay. And they're going to probably discuss a little bit about tapering and everything like that. I mean, no, all after listening to Powell last time, uh, we probably won't know for sure until the November or December meetings, but he'll inevitably talk something about it. And the talking heads are definitely going to be asking about it. This is going to be all over the news for the next couple of days, especially going into the Fed meeting. What What's the, the Fed going to do? Now, just because futures are down so far today, you, that does not mean we're not going to have a whipsaw. Okay, this happens a lot. You know, you could see a drastic down and a huge spike. I mean, I think it was Friday that we saw that the market looked like it was going to go up and then wound up collapsing down. You're going to have plenty of people, plenty of investment banks, plenty of hedge funds, mutual funds, whatever it is, thinking, hey, I can buy something on sale here. <sighs> risky, risky, risky choice. Okay. Uh, not my idea of stable moves. If you want to get into some of the other things that people love to talk about, 
hey, you know, everybody wants to ask about Bitcoin. Bitcoin's down 8% this morning, okay, going into the day. So, you know, nice drop there. Uh, you know, if you bought Bitcoin at the close on Friday, congratulations, you've lost, you know, $4,000 per coin, thereabouts. Uh, not that anybody's spending $47,000 on Bitcoin. I understand you're buying it pieces, but I still, my opinion, okay, Bitcoin is a fool's errand. Uh, what is rallying today is gold a little bit. Okay, gold's up about a third of a percent. Silver's about flat. I still say down here in the 22 range, uh, as I'm recording this, silver right now is trading at 22.28. Uh, I think it probably will bottom right around 22 flat. That would be, you know, even in here, I'm not going to bitch and moan about pennies, okay? I mean, if we drop another quarter from here, big deal, it's 1%. Who cares? Uh, but... I'd still, I still say precious metals are a great buy in here. The dollar is also rallying, okay, which is good because the, the big thing that's spooking the markets this morning is Evergrande in China, the Chinese real estate firm. It was down 15% in the Chinese markets, okay? I think it was on the Hang Seng. Uh, a lot of Asian markets are closed for a holiday today, but what you have going on with Evergrande and then potentially defaulting on a debt payment they have to make later this week, which could really spook the markets across the world, okay? Because Evergrande's one of the largest uh, real estate debt holdings. Think of them, they are like BlackRock here, okay? That could really spook the market worldwide. Because remember, in 2008, when we had the mortgage crisis in the United States, that destroyed, that crush the economies around the world, okay? Just because it's happening in China doesn't mean it's not going to affect us. Yeah, it will, because there's a lot of U.S. dollars invested in China, all right? And that money's got to go somewhere. The funny thing, and this one really threw me for a curve, is never would I expect to say this. The best performing foreign currency so far this year is the Russian ruble, believe that or not. Uh, and I think that has a lot to do with the comments on, you know, getting off the petrodollar, et cetera, with the Saudi Arabia deal that they signed uh, with Russia and China and that whole deal there. Uh, but people are starting to invest in the ruble. I'm not saying do that, okay? Ain't no way in the world I'm... I'm taking that kind of risk, especially with Russia having an election go coming up too. But there's a whole lot of stuff going on that everybody needs to pay attention to that is going to affect us as preppers, okay? The economy is a huge one, okay? The dollar, the market, whatever would be the market crashes, you can Im imagine world panic again, okay? Uh, but then today you also have the Canadian elections that, remember, Trudeau called for these things, figuring he was going to get a majority in uh, for the liberals in Canada. And it doesn't, it, you, nobody knows if he's going to hold his seat. I mean, we could find out probably tomorrow, maybe or maybe a little later, uh, that Trudeau is no longer the prime minister of Canada. Uh, not that O'Toole is any better, like I said the other day. Uh, I mean, maybe a hair better, but I mean, he's still a globalist. So... A lot of stuff to pay attention to today, guys. Uh, it's 20 after 9 right now. The market opens here in about 10 minutes. It looks like the futures are recovering just a hair. They're still down 550 right now, but it's going to be a fugly day. Uh, hold on to your appendages. <laughs> it's going to be a wild one. See y'all. Pinball out.